it's interesting actually how things led to Panto. And I was thinking about that again, about this question about, you know, how you achieve and how opportunities come your way. And, you know, I can take it right back to when I started, I'd started at Radio 4th, I'd been on for a few months and my mum had spotted an advert in The Scotsman and it said, a presenter wanted for children's education, radio pro radio for BBC Scotland. And she went, you need to go and apply for this. And I'm like, I'll never get it because I'm working radio, uh, radio fourth and I've only just started because it'll still not do you any harm to apply. So I applied for that job, queued to get into the audition, got the job at the BBC. So that was my first job at the BBC doing education radio. Then through doing education radio, being in the office, somebody says, I'm doing a geography program for primary fives. Have you ever done telly before? And I'm like, no, do you want to do this to you? I need a presenter. I was like, right, okay, I'll do it. And so by being there, I got that <laughs> opportunity. And then by doing that program, uh, then they started doing a strand of other kids' TV programs for education. This was all education, remember? And then uh, by doing that, that led to getting this kids' TV show, Weems Bay, on STV, which then gave me an opportunity to do Panto. So it's like, it's perseverance, it is timing, it's luck, it's, it's opportunity. But again, it's like grabbing every opportunity that you get inv invariably leads. So my advice is always get out and do stuff. Just get out and do stuff no matter what it is that you're doing because you may well meet somebody who you click with 